press is quick to point out when someone is packing a weapon but just like yesterday when you had all these people standing there protesting with guns loaded guns did anybody point out i mean there's an obvious contradiction staring them right in the eye this is supposed to be a crowd of angry out of control anti-government mobsters packing loaded weapons and yet there wasn't even a good old-fashioned pistol whipping what, what's up with that nothing happened except the most important thing people exercise their right to peacefully assemble and speak out yet we have a former president tell us on the anniversary of the oklahoma city bombing that speech is somehow or another dangerous no it is not it's essential timothy mcveigh was a certifiable nut job i don't know a single person in the tea party go well that timothy mcveigh what he did isn't protected by the First Amendment or any of the amendments. What I do, what Rush does, what Bill Clinton does, what Barack Obama does, what you do, that is protected. Speech. Standing up. The problem is, we forget our own history. And so it can be used against us. you got to learn it. You know, yesterday was the uh, anniversary of Oklahoma City bombing. Do you know yesterday was also another big anniversary of something that is directly related? Waco. Why did Timothy McVeigh do it in his distorted mind? He committed an inexcusable act. Why? Because he said he was angry at an out-of-control government at Waco that could kill women and children all in the name of protecting women and children. It didn't make any sense. I'm not crazy, and that doesn't make sense. He was, and it didn't make sense. I'm not arguing whether, whether Clinton should have gone into the compound or whatever. History, you decide that for yourself. I bring this up because it's important for you to understand. You need to understand Waco and Oklahoma City. The former president was out there condemning the tea parties and saying the next timothy mcveigh is being raised up from the tea party movement this is the same president who was the one timothy mcveigh was pissed at because he's the guy who issued the order to go into the compound it ended